Okay, guys. Uh, I don't want to waste my time. Okay. Uh, see here, guys. Uh, first of all, I wanna go with this according to the dashboard. So, what are the dashboard we have? What are the dashboard content we have? Uh, so, you look on this first. According to this, we can move on that. Okay. See, guys. Uh, today is May sixteenth. Uh, today we are going to discuss on Android interaction and its futures and what are the releases of Android versions and Android architecture and how we can upload the uh, APK in the Play Store and what are the different Android devices we have in the, we have in the market and what is the Android application project structure and what Android manifest file. That is, all the, that is all the things we discussed right now. See, coming to the Android interaction, guys. So, see, uh, you know, before starting the class, I will give you one scenario. What exactly the Android is? Okay, what exactly the Android is? See, guys. Because I have a PPT over there. Just go through this PPT once, then we can understand easily. See guys, first, what is mobile application? What is mobile application? See, whatever the application, whatever the application we can run in the mobile, that application we are going to call as mobile application. Whatever the application we can run in the mobile, that application we are going to call as Hello. Hello. Sir, there is a lot of unwanted voice from your side. Sir, there is lo uh, unwanted voice from your side. Uh, no, no, yeah, actually I'm going to, I'm, I'm closing my doors and entire stuff. Okay, still, sir. still is coming? Yes, sir, thanks. Okay, fine, fine, no problem. Okay, see, uh, first, what is the mobile application? See, whatever the application we can run in the mobile, that application we can call as mobile application, right? Whatever the application we can run in the mobile, that application we are going to call as what? Mobile application. Fine. Next. How we can get the applications? How, how many ways we can get the applications, guys, from the uh, Android mobile device? We can get the mobile applications in three ways in Android. We can get the mobile applications in three ways in Android. The first way is when we are going to purchase a new Android mobile, okay, there itself, in the mobile itself, we have a pre-installed applications. We have a pre-installed applications. How we can get the mobile application? That is what pre installed on phones during manufacture. See, in at the time of manufacturer time, okay, so Google people, okay, uh, maintain as a uh, inbuilt applications in the Android mobile device. That is, that is what Google Maps, Hangouts, YouTube, okay, see, whatever the application we have as an inbuilt. When you, are, when, when you are going to purchase the mobile on that time, all applications has what? Pre-installed mobile applications on your Android phone. That is the first way we can get your applications, mobile applications, right? And second way is we can download the applications from the Play Store. In Android, we can download the applications from the Play Store. And in iOS, we can, iPhone, we can download the application from the App Store, right? So in Android, when you are going to download the application, I, mean, I want to interact with my face. Why want I download my Facebook? Sorry, or Facebook or WhatsApp or Skype or Twitter. Okay, where you can download? We can download all the applications from the Play Store. Okay, that is the second way, guys. And the third way is we can develop our own applications. What exactly? See, how we can develop our application? That I, that I can teach you guys. Okay, how we can develop our own applications, right? That I can teach you. No issue on that, right? So if anyone asks you a question, how many ways we can get the mobile applications? We have to say the answer is what? Three ways. One is pre-installed mobile applications 
on your uh, Android device at the time of manufacture. That is the first way. And second way is we can download the mobile applications from the Play Store. And the third way is we can develop our own applications. Okay, that's what we have discussed right now. Okay, that is what we have, guys. And next important question is why the Android mobile operating system has drastically increased. Why the mobile, uh, why the Android, I mean, why the mobile operating system has drastically increased means, see, today we have the world population is seven billion, guys. In the seven billions, among five billion of people are using mobile phones. Okay, so there itself we can say the importance of mobiles. And right from the today life, from the today, from the today generation, no one can access the applications in the desktop. We can see the Facebook, right? So almost all the user, mobile lovers, mobile users are accessing their Facebook application in mobile itself. Okay, somewhere. So I mean, I like you know, 20 out of 100, 20 percent of people are using only in their desktops. And not only that. So we have some domain clients, guys. So we have so many sectors. Like you know, we have an insurance sector is there, health sector is there, education sector is there, transport sector is there. So we have so many sectors. Each and every sector having some domain clients, right? So the domain clients also expected their applications as mobile enabled. Okay. So why? Because of easy to access is to carry their applications okay so that is what the biggest uh, advantage in and in mobile applications right so that is the biggest reason we can go with android right so like that okay and coming to the definition guys what exactly the android is what exactly the android is see so before discussing this what are the mobile operating systems we have in the market right now so you people well know about that android is a one mobile operating system is led by google and we have one more mobile operating system that is what ios iphone operating system is led by apple and we have one more mobile operating system that is what windows is led by microsoft we have one more mobile operating system that is what blackberry is led by rim RIM is what? Research in motion. We have one more mobile operating system that is what? Bada is led by Samsung. We have one more mobile operating system that is what? WebOS is led by Hamlet Packard. Like that, we have so many mobile operating systems we have in the market. But we have a question why I choose Android? Right? Why I choose Android? So before discussing this, you have to know about the android definition you have to know about what android definition yeah tushar tell me here uh, sir uh, what, what's the full form of a rim research in motion it's a company uh, name re what a, what research in motion is a company name uh, led by blackberry okay sir okay yeah Fine. So before that, so you have to know about what Android uh, uh, definition point of view, right? See, guys, Android is a is an open source mobile operating system developed by Android Incorporation by Andy Rubin and his team members and maintained by OHA led by Google. See, Android is a, a mobile operating system. Android is a, a mobile operating system which is used for smartphones as well as tablet PCs developed by Android Incorporation by Andy Rubin and his team members and later Google take over the, Google take over the product so Google maintain this product by under the leadership of what OHA okay. <clears throat> okay see what exactly the operating system is Operating system is nothing but when I'm going to interact with my applications. Okay. So when I'm going to interact with my applications, that application may be a Facebook, that application may be a WhatsApp, 
that application may be a filter any application when you are going to access any type of application on your mobile so basically we need what one os that is what mobile os the, that we are using what android right android is a an open source mobile operating system developed by android incorporation by andy rubin and his team members and it maintained by oha led by google what is oha what exactly it is oha the abbreviation for oha is open handset alliance open handset alliance what exactly is what is the reason what is the main theme of oha is to compete our competitors to compete our competitors these are competitors iphone blackberry windows but up so whatever the uh, except android all must be what our competitors we are going to compete them so when you are going to compete them we need one organization that is what oh in that organize organization we have more than 200 plus mobile manufacturing companies are there in oh means whatever the company are using android mobile operating system all companies are there in oha like samsung are using android operating system like nexus using android operating system asus using android operating system stc using android operating system means whatever the company whatever the mobile manufacturing company are using android or mobile operating system all the all manufacturing mobile mobile manufacturing companies or they in red white shape purpose is what to compete our competitors that is the main theme of what white shape right android is a open source mobile operating system okay developed by android incorporation by andy rubin and his team and maintained by oha led by google this is a definition point of view okay fine yeah someone have a doubt tell me Awesome. Yeah, tell me, tell me. So, no doubt or... Uh, yeah, fine. No issue. Thank you. Next step. So, according to the definition, it's okay. But, according to the technical point of view, we are going to say somewhat different. That is, that is, Android mainly consists of three things one is operating system and second one is middleware and third one is core applications android is an consists of mainly three things one is android is an open operating system and android is a middleware and android having what core applications so what exactly operating system when you are going to interact with the mobile applications so basically we need what oh yes so that is what the kernel okay right android is a linux based kernel mobile operating system guys android is a, a linux based kernel mobile operating system that is what we discussed on the android architecture again we discussed the android architecture there i discussed a brief detail introduction for that and coming to what middleware guys so in android we have a middleware called sdk software development kit okay what exactly the sdk is see sdk contains uh, some predefined apis so it means what some predefined classes and some interfaces methods like that so when i am going to interact with google maps in my application so i need to work with google map sdk if i want to work with facebook integration in my android application I want to work with Facebook SDK. If I want to work with Twitter application, I need what? Twitter SDK. All the SDKs are freely available in the market. Okay. So you don't want to be, uh, you don't want to too much of, uh, you don't want to write too much of code guys. Why? Because of, you know, so in the SDK itself, we have pre different classes. We have pre different interfaces. We have pre different methods just to use the things and we can use. That's it use and access use and access that's it that is what we have the awareness of what middleware and the next one is what core applications see whatever the application we have in your mobile 
that application we are going to call as what core applications means so like you know home contacts calculator camera okay wi-fi bluetooth so all comes under what core applications right that is what see android having what mainly three things one is os and second one is sdk that is what middleware and the third one is what application that is what core applications clear guys any doors from here you can ask the class your doors otherwise i'll jump to next Uh, sir, sir, can you re repeat middleware once again? Yeah. See what exactly the middleware is. See, mid in Android, middleware is nothing but what SDK, a software development kit. So what exactly the SDK is? The SDK contains some predefined classes in the form of APIs, like you know, uh, classes and interface over there. So if I wanna work with Google Maps, okay. So on that time I need what Google Maps SDK. If I want to work with Facebook, I need what Facebook SDK. That all comes under what middleware only. If you are going to access okay any type of third party API APIs in our application, everything must be uh, our, uh, must be integrated in our SDK. Okay, that is what we have. Still more any more questions, guys? So up to now, any queries? I need everyone response, guys. Please, why? Because of you know, if you if you give a response, then only I'm going to start. I'm going to go with the new thing. Otherwise, I'll be stuck here itself. No doubt, sir. No, no, no doubt, sir. Yeah, I need everyone response. Okay, sir. Okay, fine. Next step. So, what are the Android devices we have in the market right now? So, we have a smartphones, okay, and we have a tablet PCs, and we have a netbooks in the form of Android devices. We have internet TVs, and we have what e-reader devices. These are all is enabled Android devices, guys. Okay, but mainly in our application, in our in these sessions. we are going to mainly concentrate on two things one is smartphone applications as well as tabs applications how we can work with smartphone and tabs that is what we are going to focus on but you have to remember you have to know the things we have a net we have a netbooks to android devices or there we have internet tvs android devices or there e reader devices android devices or there okay that is what we have here guys okay when coming to history guys so when the android comes like that see in the year of 2003 andy rubin and his team designed the android operating system in the year of 2003 andy rubin and his team designed the android operating system in the year of 2005 google corporation handed the android operating system from andy rubin see see one one more important point guys if you are going to download any application from the version of two, uh, from the year of 2003 onwards okay so on that time we don't have play store on that time we have what market store from the from the place of market store we can download the mobile applications so in the year of, from the 2005 onwards we have what google play store so it's a google it's a play store a google product So from there we can download our our Android applications, right? That is what we have in the tool tool and file like that. And so what is the Android? What is the first Android mobile device? It is what uh, that is what in the 2008, the uh, November 7th, the first Android device launches in the market. A name called T-Mobile. Name called what? T-Mobile. And later it renamed as what? G1. G1 means what? Google first mobile. Okay. Uh, in the year 2008 november 7th the android and the first android device launches in the market called what uh, t mobile and later it renamed as what g1 okay right now we are in where guys 2016 from 2008 to 2016 how many years 8 years okay 2005 to 2008 3 years 2003 to 2005 2 years so totally how many years 13 years right so in the time of, in the span of 13 years okay android people totally categorized into six versions guys how many versions six versions 
the first version is what android 1.x is uh, this version is developed by andy rubin only for mobile applications okay and later on google uh, hand over the uh, android operating system from andy rubin and google people launches a new version called android 2.x again it developed for only for mobile application developed by google in the android 2.x onward on the time only we have a google maps application hangouts youtube google movies google play all comes under in web android 2.x onwards and so we have very uh, android people think that so we so android people think that why we can't go for what apps means whatever the application we have in the mobile why we can't develop the same application in with apps so the people think like that so immediately a people release a version called what android 3.x version so it's meant for only for what apps application developed by google means whatever the application we have in the mobile almost all the all applications we have been enabled in with apps but we have one drawback here guys what is the drawback means see a single application we can develop for two times one for mobile and one for apps means what is the drawback means see time waste resource waste budget waste right this is the main this is the this is this is this is three things only main thing right so we are going to waste here we are going to waste these three things only right so immediately android people recognize the problem on the time so immediately the launches a, a, a version called what android 4.x version in the version android people totally concentrate on okay so both mobile as well as tablet in a single environment that is what ide so in the 4.x version okay so android people introduce a ide called ide okay in that ide we can develop our mobile we can develop the application for both mobile as well as tablet in the previous days we are using eclipse so right now we are we are we are, we are switching to what android studio so eclipse is a third party product guys it's not a android product android studio is our own product that is what android studio so right now we have android studio 2.1 is a latest version guys so whatever the applications i explained in your class sessions each and every application i explained in android studio only and that too each and every line by line each i will explain the line by line in front of you only guys okay and the next one is what uh, then after that uh, so we have uh, Android 5.x version. So basically, this version is released by uh, mainly focus on what AI guys. See uh, by using in uh, we can see the Lollipop versions. Okay, on the other compare with the KitKat and Lollipop. In the Lollipop, we have a better AI. Okay, so that will comes from the material design guys. So that that, that is the feature that is a, that is the feature we have in uh, 5.x version. And in that 5.x version, okay, we are they are they are releasing only beta version. So coming to the Android six point X version, full version of material design of AI we have in the market right now. Okay, these are the six versions we have in the market. So up to now, any queries you can ask me, guys. Sir, what is beta version? Yeah, so beta version means what? It's a trial version. Simply see, yeah, in the yeah, it's actually material design is a concept. By using material design, we can design the effectively. Okay, that having a some trial version of classes we are using in the 5.x version. So the later in 6.x, we have a full version of uh, uh, predefined classes interfaces of material design. We can use and we can work on that. That's the only trial version. That's like that. Material design uh, is used only for look and feel. Yeah, only for design purpose. Okay. Any more? Share any more questions? No. So I hope you that uh, you you people can understand. You, you people can catch me, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, fine, fine. Thank you. And coming to and one more important point, guys. You people uh, uh, heard about like you know like KitKat, Jelly Bean, Gingerbread, like that, right? What are all? This all comes under version names, guys. See, Android one. The first version is Android one point zero. It's alpha version. One point two beta version. 1.5 cupcake 1.6 donut 2.0 eclipse 2.2 freyo 2.3 gingerbread 3.0 honeycomb 4.0 ice cream sandwich 4.3 jelly bean 4.4 kitkat 
5.0 lollipop 6.0 marshmallow and 7.0 android n so all the 14 versions we have in the market right now guys but up to marshmallow the android n is not come but in the future in a couple of months android n is also coming into the future okay see uh, we sir, have to sorry sir, man, sir, name uh, of the android versions is according to a b c d yeah, yeah, yeah like, let me explain let me explain let me explain so the version names like you know like it starts from the alphabetical order like a b c d e f g h i j k l m and n right and each and every name except alpha and beta remaining all the names must be what chocolate flavor names it's what chocolate flavor names so like that we are going to build the that is that is the reason we have such for what android n so <laughs> so right now we are putting android n but in a couple of months we are going to change into some other name as what well, chocolate flavor name like that okay that is what we have here guys but okay so if you are going to face any interview in android the first question they're asking you they're asking you is do you have any experience on lollipop and what marshmallow if you say yes then only the interview will take the interview if you say no, the interview will leave the room, leave the interview hall like that. So that much of importance we have in the Lollipop and Marshmallow. In this training session, I totally concentrate on Lollipop and Marshmallow concept session. Why? Because of, you know, the lowest, I mean, the least versions, I don't want to concentrate. Why? Because of, you know, we can't use that one, right? So that is what, so each and everything we are going to work with the new things and new updated technologies. And one more important point is what? So if I heard any new thing, new news about Android, well, definitely I'm going to share with you guys. Okay, so that is what I am going to try to work on you. Okay, that is what fine. This is about the Android version names, guys. And coming to what for learning Android, what are the prerequisites things we have? So, one is Core Java, Mustang Judea. You need a Core Java, guys, up to which classes we need. And second one is XML. Yeah, Katusha, tell me, uh, sir, uh, what is the full form of Android N? See, that is what, see, Android N is a name. So we didn't put any name for Android N. It's searching for the name. Once we get and we can implement a name, no problem. That is what Android N is a name, that's it. There is no abbreviation for that. Okay, okay. And so we have a XML for designing, Koja for functionality, XML for designing, a basic knowledge and what database concepts we required. That is what we have a pre request is language things when you develop our Android mobile application development. Okay, and coming to what Android architecture is, it's a very, very, very important is when we are going to start your, uh, you know, when you are going to start any type of application that may be a Java application or a .NET or a Android or an iOS. So each and every application maintains an architecture. Likewise, in our Android also, we have what? One architecture. That is what? Android architecture. See, Android architecture mainly contains four layers. Guys. How many layers? Four layers. One is Linux kernel layer. And second one is libraries layer. And the third one is application framework layer. And the last one is application layer. We can concentrate from the bottom to top, not from top to bottom. We can concentrate what? Bottom to top. See, uh, already I explained your technical definition for Android. What is Android? Android contains mainly three things. One is operating system, and second one is middleware, and the third one is applications, right? See, Linux kernel is nothing but what? Operating system. Linux kernel is nothing but what, guys? Operating system. And application framework and libraries. These two comes under what? Middleware, SDK. And this comes under what? Application comes under what? Core applications. We can achieve the concept or not? See, Android consists of mainly three things. Operating system, middleware, and core applications. So, operating system is nothing but what? Linux kernel. Middleware is nothing but what? Application framework and libraries. And the last one is what? Core applications. That is what? Applications. And see, what exactly the Linux kernel working functionality. See guys. If I want to work with any type of default application in my mobile, if I want to work with Bluetooth, so basically I need what? Bluetooth driver. That Bluetooth driver is internally is maintained by kernel. 
okay so if if your bluetooth is not working properly what happen you are thinking that our my bluetooth driver is not working properly okay so like this if you have a see one more thing if you are working with a camera application we need what camera driver that camera driver is also maintained by whom linux kernel and come into what display driver when you are going to when you are going to display your uh, mobile so mo mobile display on that we need what display driver like usb when you are going to interact with the usb so we need what usb driver keypad wifi <coughs> audio drivers excuse me and what binder if you are going to working with the two inter communication two internal com components like you know like I, I, if i want to work with two internal components so on that time we need what binder driver without binder driver we can't communicate with the two internal components okay that is the next one is our power management see if you are going to maintain the backup how we can maintain the backup by using what battery backup right so that will comes under our power management that is also maintained by what linux kernel so all comes under what linux kernel the linux kernel is what a heart of android mobile operating system there is no linux there is no android So that much of importance we have over here, and coming to the a uh, middleware that is what uh, SDK. SDK mainly consists of what two things: an uh, application framework and what libraries. Coming to library, we have two type of libraries over here, guys. One is core libraries, and second one is native libraries. One is core libraries, and second one is native libraries. So I think so that so each and every one having a idea about. core java so when you are going to uh, compile your java program by using what java c command right so once you are going to using a java c command by compilation will get what dot class file right so by using dot class file the help of jvm we are going to convert your dot class file into dot exe what is dot exe dot exe is your executable code okay so, right so that is what see that dot exe file is not supported in our android mobile device that dot exe file is supported for only desktop applications that means heavyweight component devices then how how we can test our applications how we can uh, execute our mobile uh, applications in the mobile so there we have what dvm dvm is what dolphin virtual machine okay so in our android also we have a dot class file guys with the help of dvm we are going to convert a dot class file into dot dex dolphin executable code with the help of by using dot dex okay we can generate dot apk with the help of android asset packaging toolkit what is that android asset packaging toolkit by using android asset packaging toolkit we can convert dot dex files into dot apk right that is what we have in the android runtime libraries and come into the library section guys so if you are working with purely android related classes see if i work with the media framework uh, like you know if i if i want to work with the song the background songs or videos okay so on that time i need what media framework library If I wanna work with three two D and three D graphical animation type of applications, on that time I need what Open GL ES library. That is what Open Graphic library extended systems. If I wanna work with free type, so if I wanna work with free type, so on that time uh, means what free type is what. If I, if you wanna work with dot dvc files or dot ppt or dot xls, okay. So on that time we need what free type library. And coming to what if you are going to open a web browser on your mobile. on that we need what library that kit library likewise when you are going to maintain the data in the database on that time we have one library called sqlite library by using a sqlite library we are going to save your uh, values in your database that is what the library section guys we have so we, have, we discuss so some more uh, libraries in uh, further classes we discuss no worry about that okay and coming to the application framework guys see i will ask you one question guys for all of you if you are going to display A current location on the Google Map. So for that, how many lines of code you can write? If you wanna display a current location on the Google Map, for that, how many lines of code you can write? So 
some people say we need to we need to add a google apis yeah that is what see how many like yeah that what, what i'm asking is if you are going to display the current location on the google map for that how many lines of code you can write we are right Uh, sir, maybe uh, four to five lines. Okay. Yeah. See, you don't want to write that much of lines of code, guys. Why? Because of in our Android, we have a, a predefined framework for Google Map is what location manager. By using location manager framework, we can import the classes called Google Map. In the Google Map class, we have one method called set my location enabled. We can pass true. That is what Google Map dot set my location enable true. That is the only single line of code you can write in your activity. Automatically, uh, we can display the current location on the Google Map. And one more thing, you don't want to write the huge, huge lines of code. Test. So we have already available, freely available code in the uh, framework. Just we can use and we can access. That's it. Likewise, when you are going to working with, if you, if you are going to find out the your mobile uh, IMEA number, so by using by using telephony manager framework, if you are going to working with Wi-Fi, on the time you are going to use Wi-Fi manager framework. We can like so we have different type of uh, frameworks. Each and every. See if you are, if you are going to share your uh, one application data or other application data, on the time you are going to use content providers. Okay, so that is a we have a framework that is that is all comes under what SDK is. Okay, and last one is what applications means. What are the applications we have in your mobile? All comes under what core applications. That is a briefly there is a detailed introduction what Android architecture. Okay, fine. Still now any more queries? You can ask me at class here, those guys. Uh, sir, in Android runtime, uh, first it is compiled into dot class then uh, it is uh, converted to dot dx and then finally dot app we get it right yeah exactly okay uh, and sure. uh, this linux kernel uh, linux is the operating system what is kernel here see kernel is anything about to managing or operating system kernel is on layer to managing or operating system okay all the okay. drivers you have that is what Okay. Shall more any shall any more queries? No queries. Yeah. See, please freely to communicate, guys. Why? Because of you know, if you communicate with me, then only I can think that we keep people can understand. So it's not a classroom; it's an online. So that's why each and every student can communicate with me. That is what. That is the way we can work together. Okay. Fine. And coming to the next one is what features of Android, guys. So we have a messaging feature. See, we have a SMS is there, a voice based SMS is there, multi MMS is there. Okay, so different type of messaging services we have in Android, and we have a different type of web browser supported uh, feature we have in our Android, and we have a voice based feature. See, we have a text to speech, speech to text. That is what voice based feature is there, and we have multi touching screen cap uh, screen uh, operate operation feature we have over there. We have to perform multitasking at a single time in our Android. That is we have uh, that is one more feature over there. We are going to capture your screen. That is also one more feature in your Android. Okay, so we have a video calling, we have a TV recording, we have what multi language support in our Android. We are going to work multi language. See, in our Android, we can display Telugu format, or we can display English format, or we can display Hindi format according to our language. So we can that, that, that is a feature we have in the Android. Okay, all and one more thing. Okay, so that is, and when you when you are going to when you when you are going to get the notifications. Okay, there we can there we can directly we can send a message. The, the, then or directly we can call from there the notification bar itself. If you don't want to click on the notification and we can come come out from the developer like not like that. So from there itself, so directly we can work together. That is what the Android again new feature. Okay, that is all the features we have in Android. Let me once you did, uh, enter into the, into the sessions, then I can discuss in detail for you guys. Right? This is only introduction class. That's what I'm telling you. Okay? And coming to the job opportunities, and next couple of years, Android having a good openings in the market. 
uh, Google CEO Sundar Pichai announced that okay, more than 20 billion of Android developers for hiring at Google company by 2020. Uh, directly Google, Google CEO Sundar Pichai announced this. By 2020, we are, uh, Google company hiring more than 20 million of Android developers. Guys. Okay, see one thing guys, see Flipkart releases the status means uh, Flipkart sales, Flipkart sales comes from the mobile application itself, not from the desktop. Every high sales will come from the mobile itself. Why? Because of, you know, so from mobile itself, we can pay the payment, right? So you don't want to go for desktop. So that is a feature we have. So, and one more thing is, I don't know about the feature generation is there a desktop is there, but I feel, I totally convinced that, I totally say that. So the future is what? Mobile application only, not for desktop. That much of huge demand we have for Android, especially in India, is what Android. Okay, so uh, so India, our, 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 so in, our Indian peoples, the Indian pulse is what? A cheap cost, better quality, right? So we can get the Android mobile product by 2000 rupees onwards, but iOS we can't get. We have to pay like 14 to 15,000. When you're going to get the iOS product, we can get, we can pay what? 5 to 12 to 15,000. But when coming to Android, we can pay what? 2000. So that is a Google Android Indian Pulse. Means what? Cheap cost, better quality. We are seeing, we are, we are putting cheap cost and we are expecting better quality. Okay. That and their people uh, uh, provide us. Okay, fine. And coming to the, what are the topics? Uh, already we have discussed in the dashboard. Now, the uh, same topics I discussed over here. Okay, guys. So, this is what a uh, basic demo session. See, uh, coming, come back to the, uh, the, the all, almost all these topics will be covered over there, guys. And coming to the Android application project structure and Android manifest file that i will be explained in the tomorrow session i mean say next class why because of okay uh, today i'm going to explain how we are going to install the android studio how we can set up the entire so i will explain today and after that i explain these two things guys so that i put as a mark i put a complete i put as a this is a mark complete okay uh, two things i discussed the two things you discussed in the next class where where i've started the application development okay if you okay with that guys yes sir yeah fine and what are the uh what are the things so you know if you are going to work with android mobile application development so basically we have okay java software okay we can download the java software from okay so oracle.com we can download the java software from where oracle.com see www.oracle.com oracle.com guys see we find downloads here in our downloads you find uh, java sc just click on the java sc over here and you find java here just click on the java okay so you have you have, you have to select your accept your license See guys, uh, you have to check out your operating, your desktop operating system is 32 bit or 64 bit. See how we can check, you know, see, right click on your my computer, select properties. Okay, you will find what system type is what 64 bit. In my case, my, my system type is what 64 bit. But in your case, it is what 32. If you in your, if you in your case is a 32 bit, you can download what? Windows x86, this one. If that is a 64 bit, you can download this one. Just click on this one. Once you click on this one, the download will be started. So I already downloaded this. I don't want to download this one. Okay, you know how to install. Just click next, next, next. Once you installation is completed, after that, you have to go for what? Java path setting. Okay, first step is what? Download your Java software. And second step is what? Install your Java software. And the third step is what? Java path setting. How we can go with the Java path setting. See guys, once you install your Java software, the Java software will be saved in program files. Okay. Java JDK. So here we have what? Bin, right? So yeah, up to up to here. Java JDK bin. Up to here, we go with this path. We have to copy this path, guys. 
and right click on your my computers and select properties and you find advanced system settings just click on the advanced system settings okay there you find advanced tab in the advanced tab you find environment variables in the environment variables you find user variables right in the user variables click new there you can variable name as what well, path small small letters and value is what what are the value you copy there you have to paste and semicolon dot semicolon so permanently you are going to set your path that's why go with a semicolon dot semicolon so click on the ok button once you click on your ok button automatically your path will be set over there click on the ok button okay See, if you are going to uh, go, if you are if you are going to set your Java path, then only Android Studio will open. Why? Because of our Android Studio, okay, is looking for Java path. Why? Because of our Android application is developed by Java compiler, right? So, the, when you are going to working with the Java compiler, okay, in Android Studio, so Android Studio is expecting the Java path. java directory that's why you're going to set your java path okay fine understand sumit goel sir please repeat it see okay our android studio application our android application development is developed by core java based on java programming okay so when you are going to working with your android mobile app, android application development in android studio okay uh, android studio will expecting the java path mm -hmm. by one sorry i am not getting your voice properly your voice is somewhat breaking breaking to me can you type the chat Hello Sorry Hello Hello Yeah tell me tell me There is a problem in my speaker sir No issue there is continuous Yeah fine fine Okay sure no problem fine uh, so that is what we have so once you uh, go for java path setting okay uh, once you complete your java path setting after that what you have to download your java software from where you can download your uh, sorry android 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 studio from where you can download your android studio means we have an official website called www.developer.android.com developers.android.com sorry one second uh, go with uh, developer.android.com guys sorry developer.android.com this is official website to us so we can get the any information regarding about android guys this is official website is what developer.android.com you find search icon search icon search is there right there you can type android studio there you can type what android studio just click on this one this one guys we have a first link that is what download android studio and sdk right just click on this one okay you find what download android studio 2.1 for windows how much of size it is 1.2 gb guys and one more important point guys the configuration setting for android studio is we have to maintain the 50 gb of hard disk data as a free and second one is we have to maintain 8 gb of ram okay mean 50 gb of hard disk data and what second one is what 8 gb of ram We are going to maintain for Android application development. 
okay so if you download this one so it will take some time guys so i in my case i already downloaded so but in your case you have to download it okay so i yeah tusha tell me here uh, sir uh, actually i have 6 gb of ram so can't it run yeah no problem see no problem no problem 6 gb see you don't want to maintain 4 gb you have to maintain 6 gb so no in my my issue was 6 gb only no issue no problem okay Okay. But recommended I mean uh, better to go with eight GB. That's it. That is what I'm telling you. Yeah, better to increase your two uh, GB extra extra percent. Why? Because of you know, if you work with the four GB RAM, your system will be somewhat hanged. The system will come slow. That is why I prefer to work. We have to. Yeah, see, it's working. But what I'm asking is, what I'm saying is. Okay, so at the coming or the at the in the future days, your system will coming strict. Your system will getting slow. Okay, it will take so much of time to load your Android shell like that. Okay, better to go with six GB or what eight GB. It's a very very convenient to you. Okay, fine. So up to now, uh, uh, that is what uh, yeah guys. So once you once you come to the next class, each and every one download the Android Studio. Okay, and uh, put we have to we have to full program. We have to download the Android Studio, and the next tomorrow's class, I I and I introduce how to install the Android Studio and the entire stuff. Okay, and one more thing, you can download the Android Studio from this website only. Why? Because of the Android Studio is a genuine version available in this in this website. Okay, you don't want download from the third party downloaders, which are okay. So, I think everyone satisfy my class. So, can I continue with tomorrow onwards, or any doubts or any queries? Sir, are there any additional settings for? Sir? Yeah, that is that that settings I explain in the next class. Yes, sir. So you are uh, hello. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Uh, sir, I am satisfied with your lecture, so it is very good. Uh, we can continue, sir. No, no issue. Yeah, fine. I need everyone's feedback, guys. Please. Sir, you are uh, uh, going very good. Hello. Yeah, fine. Thank you. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Tell me. Yeah, it was very good. Yeah, fine, fine. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, everyone is good for. I uh, don't see satisfied, right? No issue. So for one more thing, guys, I will give you a better output. Okay, so once you complete this session, so every each and every ones, each and every student have to develop their own application by their their own self. Yeah, tell me. What is this? You are telling me what is this? Hello, your voice was not audible, sir. Right now? Yes, sir. Now it's audible. Yeah, that is what. See, at the end of the session, I mean, sir, end of the course. Okay, each and every one can develop their own application with their own ideas. So that much of stuff I will provide you guys. No issue, no problem, no worries about that. Okay? Can you email the presentation? Yeah. Uh, after that, see, once you complete the session, I put as a mark complete. So there we can download the video recording from there. Okay? No problem. Oh, sir, your uh, presentation. Yeah, PPT. Yeah, yeah. We, I, yes, I, will share, I will share. I will share. I will share. I will share. You, I will share you, no problem. I will share. You, no problem. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, fine. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. So, bye. Good night. Take care, all of you. Bye, bye. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Good night.